Hey everybody, John here. I want to take a minute today to talk about how we can get a more effective catch on our hammer. As we rotate, we have some nice elastic energy that gets stored in our body and we want to make sure we can tie that in and release that in basically uncoil into the implement each time we come around. Just like we would do on our stones and our weights, we want to get into that stretch. We call that the X. If we were to look at our shoulders, imagine I had sensors on each shoulder and each hip, how I can separate my shoulders from my hips. So we can test that and make sure we can do that by just rotating here, keep my hips fairly neutral for a second, and then go to the other side. So we don't have that, first of all, we're putting ourselves at risk of injury, and we need to address that first. Make sure you're doing something like my Thor's five that I posted previously, something to that effect, or get that addressed. Make sure we got that so we can actually get into this position, because the mid back tends to get really tight and hard to rotate and will flex forward. So we want to address that first. That being said, once we have that, we can go through this pattern here to show you with this stick here first. So what I want to do is from the front view, as we're coming around, what I want to make sure I can do is really open up and kind of reach over my shoulder. I'll show you from this view as well. So as I'm catching the implement, I want to be way over tying in this X in a nice stretch, this elastic twisting like I'm uh, torquing up a towel or trying to, trying to recoil a spring, something like that too, okay? So as I'm coming over, really rotating, catch way over my shoulder. That would be on winds one and two. Obviously on wind three has been coming around on my finish, that's going to be different. I need to come around and I can't be way over on my right side. So winds one and two, I want to make sure I do that, especially wind one, set that up way over your right side and really think about catching that way over to the right. You can't go wrong basically being too far, especially with drills. So simple drills for this would just be to wind. And I'd actually recommend both sides, especially off season or newer thrower, make sure you can get the same, a similar feel on the opposite side as well. It's never probably gonna feel the same, but if you can get a similar feel on that opposite side, that's a big takeaway as well. So with the actual hammer, I'll show you a couple different views as well. What I can do, especially to emphasize this on this drill, is really watch the hammer. I wouldn't necessarily do this during competition, but as far as the drill goes, to get this feel, to get this stretch over my side, here, I will actually watch the hammer as far as this drill goes. So from this angle, see I'll really open up here as I do my wind. So, those are obviously winds without blades on. Blades, I can be more dynamic and really focus on catching that. Of course, all these same rules apply. Like I talk about getting away from the hammer and we want nice long arms, but we can open up that X and think about that stretch as another tool to use. So there you have it. There's how we use our X in the hammer.